Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of walking and talking here. Um, tomorrow I will arrive in Echo Lake, which is uh, also South Lake Tahoe. <clears throat> right now I'm moving along the perimeter of the of Lake Tahoe on the west side of it. So uh, I'm going south. The lake is on my left, which I can't see right now, but... Uh, this trail that, I mean, I'm on the Pacific Crest Trail, of course, but it's also currently coinciding with what's called the Tahoe Rim Trail, the trail that goes around the circumference of Lake Tahoe. Mav is uh, a little bit back behind me, and uh, I have some uh, interesting news that uh, may be a little wrinkle, but a good one. Um, Mav heard that the Lion's Head Closure, which... That is the only part of the trail which I was unable to walk so far, uh, north of me, that is. So in other words, last year in Oregon, there was a section that was closed. It's called the Lion's Head Closure, and it's because of a fire that was like four or five years ago, and it had been closed all this time. So that was 90 miles that I had to go around. <clears throat> I hitchhiked around it last year. Anyway, it's open now, and the next... 220 miles south from here is stuff I've already done last year. I was just going to do it again, but now <clears throat> I'm thinking that I might do a combination of taking a bus and a train and go back up to Oregon and do that lion's head closure and then come back down and meet Mav again. <clears throat> I only have to go 90 miles plus some uh, transportation days. He's got to do 230 or whatever. So I think I will beat him back to the spot where we're going to meet, which is where Bishop Pass intersects with the Pacific Crest Trail, right in the middle of the Sierras. <clears throat> anyway, that is currently my thought, but I have to firm up the details of that when I get to uh, the next resupply. So it's a good morning this morning. Very hot days lately, back in the 90s, but good days.